Hello and welcome to Untwisted Threads. I know it is still very much winter outside, but I love to plan ahead and think about projects that I want to make and wear for the upcoming season. In this case, spring is coming. And one style of knitting that really makes me think of the spring season is lace. I think it's because the lace just reminds me of dainty and delicate things, and of course, flowers blooming. Knitting lace used to be very intimidating for me, but once I realized that the holes were created in different variations of knit two togethers and yarn overs, my mindset kind of shifted. Lace knitting typically uses a larger needle size than the yarn you're using recommends, and most of the time you'll use less yarn too. I also really love watching lace block because it really transforms afterwards. So in the spirit of spring and warmer weather on the horizon, I wanted to share 10 lace knitting patterns with you to get you in the spirit. Some are of course easier than others, that could even work as a great beginner lace knitting project, and some could be a fun challenge to learn. I would love to hear which of these patterns is your favorite in the comments below. Let's get started. The first pattern is the Coquille Sweater by Knititude. It comes in 9 sizes, suited with 3 to 5 inches of positive ease, for bust sizes ranging from 28 to 62 inches. It suggests using a lace and fingering weight yarn held together to create a DK weight gauge and uses a 4mm needle size for the body. This top-down sweater features eyelets, pearl bumps, and yes, beads. I think this would be a great introduction to knitting lace because the eyelets are evenly spaced out and allow you to follow an easy pattern that you can memorize. I know the holidays may have passed us for last year, but how cute would this be for the holidays this year with all of its little pearl details? The second pattern is Floor by Chai Crafts. It comes in 10 sizes with finished bust measurements ranging from 28.5 to 63 inches and recommends 0 to 4 inches of negative ease. It suggests using a sport weight yarn with a fingering and a lace weight held together and a 4.5 millimeter needle size for the body. It is worked from the bottom up and features a simple stitch pattern, balloon sleeves, and a folded neckband. This pattern has actually been on my to knit list for quite some time, and I'm hoping I'll get to knit it someday. I think the repetitive design pattern would be easy enough to remember for a beginner, but still engaging if you're more advanced. The third pattern is Summer Nuss by Elizabeth Judith. It comes in six sizes with a finished bust measurement ranging from 35 and a half to 53 inches and is designed to be worn with three to four inches of positive ease. It suggests using a sport weight yarn or a fingering and cobweb strand held together and a 5mm needle size used for the body. It is a round yoke sweater with an all over texture and eyelet design, worked from the top down with the option to adjust the length of the sleeves, short, three quarter or long sleeves, and the body. I love the different texture sections of this design. It includes some eyelets, but also ribbing of different sizes, pearl bump ridges, and stockinette. It is designs like these that really make me want to finish each section so that I can start knitting the next one. The fourth pattern is the Darjeeling Blouse by Trust the Mojo. It comes in eight sizes and is suited for bust measurements of 31 and a half to 59 inches and is designed to be worn with positive or negative ease depending on your preference. It suggests using a sport weight yarn and uses a three and a half millimeter needle size for the body. It is worked flat from bottom up and in the round for the sleeves. It is considered to be an intermediate to advanced pattern due to its double pico hem and atypical construction. So although the pattern is quite technical, it includes detailed written instructions, videos, and a checklist to help you keep track of your progress. There are also three different length options for the pattern, including cropped, which hits around the waist, medium, which hits around the hips, and long, which hits just below the hip. The fifth pattern is the Silver Leaf Cardigan by Long Avec Anna. It comes in 13 sizes, with a finished bust measurement ranging from 31 and a half to 63 inches, and recommends two to four inches of positive ease. It suggests using a DK weight yarn or a fingering and lace weight held together and a four and a half millimeter needle size for the body. 
It is a raglan sleeve cardigan knitted top down and features a round neck with I-cord edging. It also has a wide contrasting lace detailed sleeve that comes in at the cuff creating a balloon shape. I love that this cardigan adds the lace on the sleeves to give it a little bit more of a delicate and springy style. The sixth pattern is the Fern Sweater by Pernell Larson of Knitting for Olive. Now available in English, it comes in eight sizes with a finished bust size ranging from 33 and three quarters to 57 inches and recommends about three inches of positive ease. It suggests using a sport weight yarn or holding one strand of fingering and one strand of lace weight yarn held together using a four and a half millimeter needle size to meet gauge. It is worked seamlessly from the top down and includes short row shaping to lower the front neckline. The vertical eyelet fern stitch lace pattern is written out and looks like it would be fairly easy to memorize. The seventh pattern is the Corin Cardigan by Rebecca Clo of the Crea Bea. It comes in 10 sizes with a finished bust measurement ranging from 34 to 64 inches and recommends three quarters to three and three quarter inches of positive ease. It suggests using a worsted weight yarn and a five millimeter needle size to meet gauge in the lace pattern. It is an all over vertical rib and eyelet lace cardigan knit from the bottom up with drop shoulders. There are two neckline options, round and v-neck and also two sleeve lengths. So although it uses a thicker yarn, I imagine the lace pattern gives it just the right amount of airiness to make it feel lighter and more breezy. The eighth pattern is Bernice by Julie Hoover. It comes in six sizes with a finished bust measurement ranging from 42 and a half to 62 and a half inches and recommends around nine to 13 inches of positive ease. It suggests using a fingering weight yarn and a three and a half millimeter needle size to meet gauge. It is worked from the bottom up flat in pieces then sewn together. You probably wouldn't have much difficulty knitting this in the round by omitting the edge stitches if you wanted to. It features lace, cables, wide ribbing, and a relaxed drop shoulder fit. I think this would be a great transitional piece as it still reminds me of winter with the cozy cables, but it has a delicate element with the center lace design panels. The ninth pattern is the Cream Anglais Sweater by Kay and Itty. It comes in seven sizes with a finished bust measurement ranging from 34 and a half to 51 and a quarter inches and recommends two and a quarter inches of positive ease. It suggests using a DK weight yarn or a sport and lace weight held together and a five millimeter needle size to meet gauge. It is knitted from the top down and in the round. First, the neck ribbing is worked, followed by short rows to shape the neckline. The round lace yoke is knitted from a chart before the body and sleeves are divided to be worked separately in stockinette stitch. So this is a dream knit that I really, really, really want to make and have wanted to make for quite a long time. I know you may be familiar with patterns kind of similar to this one, but I personally prefer this particular pattern because the bottom scallop of the lace design is more rounded and delicate in my opinion. Now last but not least, the 10th pattern is the Shell Sweater by Twin Knits. It comes in six sizes with a finished bust measurement ranging from 35 to 56 inches and recommends three to six inches of positive ease depending on your preference. It suggests using a DK weight yarn or using a DK weight held together with a lace weight to meet gauge with four millimeter needles. It is knit top down and includes short rows and raglan increases along the yoke. I like how the vertical lace patterns are separated by rows of ribbing and I think it adds a nice effect to the lace design. Have you knitted any of these patterns before? Which ones are you adding to your future to knit list? I would love to hear your thoughts and pattern recommendations in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.